Hello, I'm Henry John Griffin, and in school, um, I always talk about uh, computers when the teacher tells me not to. I mean, I always... So, anyways, I'm going to talk about where Nita told me I can't talk to Evan about the brain being a computer. Well, that's kind of... That kind of sucks that I can't. But, anyways, I asked if I can talk to Robert. And Evan said that I could talk to Robert if he has time. My, my, that's what my teachers at the Kessler said. My teachers at the Kessler said I could talk to Robert if he has time. And that's what, that's all what was answered. I didn't get anything else answered but that. Well, I guess I did. I guess there, I guess I got any, I guess I got something else answered with that. I guess I got another answer with that. But, other than that, it was, I can talk to Robert if he has time. But, if they are busy in the classroom working with a different student, then I shouldn't even be bothering him or messing with him. I should be leaving him alone. And, if, if Nita and Sam could stop saying that I can't talk to Evan about computers then I will be able to talk to Evan about computers. Because I know I can. I know I can talk to Evan about computers when I get to school. Or if I finished all my work, or I did all my work, or earned recess, or earned free time. Evan also says I could talk to Nicole at the end of the day, which is good. That's 100 times good, and 100 times true to be that I can talk to Robert if he has time, and that I could talk to Marnie if she has time, and that I could talk to Nicole at the end of the day if I show that I'm safe. So anyways, we are done talking about that. Now let's talk about the group home situation. Okay, I was in classroom six asking if group homes allow you to play. And Nita said yes, they do allow play time only at a certain time. They, um, Nita said group homes do allow play time because play time is after you do all of your work. And you can play in a group home like you can um, have fun in a group home, but you still may have to complete you still may have to complete your schedule which is freaking stupid because all those answers that she's giving me is really 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 bad I do not like those answers those are called setup answers and I am sick and tired of those if I go to live on my own, yes, I can still get help. And if I go to live on my own, yes, I will still have someone there to help me do all different sorts of all different sorts of, all different types of chores and tasks being completed. But I wouldn't want to go to a group home being forced to do work. However, if Nita and Sam gave me all these setup answers telling me that in a group home, if, it, if she says in a group home, you cannot play, you cannot go on the iPad, and you have to share the bedroom, and you have to share the iPad or the TV, and you, oh shoot, what the freaking heck? Oh. She told me that you have to share a bedroom, you have to share the bed, you have to share the TV, you have to share the 
phone and the tablet, this all gets stuck in my mind. And all of it can lead to Henry becoming much angry and upset and so sad if he hears them set up answers from the teachers. I just don't want the teachers giving me set up answers. I just did I just didn't like it. I just didn't like the fact that Zeblin gave me a set up answer. It's because I asked a set up question. And if I don't want these answers then maybe I shouldn't ask the question. But I try to stay in the green zone once I get on the school bus and I get into school. And my goal is, my goal is I want to go to a home where, I mean, my goal is I want to go to a new home with people there to help me with chores and dishes and even water and, and, and okay I, I where I okay so I said that so I already said that I wanted that goal to exist.